you need water to wash some of the wood in the back of your throat. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome back to Bottled and Bond. I'm Ozzy. And I'm Amanda. And today we're headed back to Kentucky, Laredo, Kentucky. In fact, we're actually gonna head back to the Maker's Mark Distillery and we're gonna, we picked up a bottle and we're gonna sample and try and review this bottle today. I've seen it, haven't seen it in every single ABC store here in Virginia, but I've been thinking about picking it up and today we actually picked it up. Damn! <laughs> All right, so <laughs> this is the Maker's Mark Private Selection. It's a cocktail finish. They call it a cocktail finish because it's actually hand selected by Virginia ABC. Now, many different states hand select their own. Um, and the reason why they call it a cocktail finish is because if you look at the bottle, not only is it hand selected by Virginia ABC, at least here, many of the different states hand select themselves, but they're hand selecting staves, staves that they're making these barrels with to age. So different staves with different flavors. This specific uh, selection is a uh, the different staves that they selected for this one. Uh, was three baked American pure, four seared French cuvee, 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 two Maker's Mark 46, zero roasted French mendiant, Men mendiant, 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 all right, and uh, I guess they didn't like that one, and one toasted French spice. This proof is uh, 110.6 and 55.3% alcohol by volume. It was hand selected April 2021. Nonetheless, guys, let's open this baby up. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Mm. It's synthetic cork. Oh, man, this. It's smooth. Yeah, it's, it's. Well, it's on the nose. It's it's sweet. It's sweet cinnamon. Uh, man, maple. Definitely. Yeah. You, one of the things that I've I've been realizing more and more about ma about makers is their maple. Their maple and honey forward smells is just remarkable. It's delicious. I'm getting some cherries. It's some very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Definitely. It reminds me a lot of the Makers Forty Six and the uh, Makers wow. One Hundred One. Yeah, it's sweet. Very mapley syrup, honey-like. Uh, not so much vanilla, vanilla, but definitely brown sugar. Yeah. You still pick up a little bit of that woody. woody. Yeah, definitely a little bit of that woody, a little bit of those fruits, cherries. Um, it's it's, man, it's. Mm. Listen, I picked it up because after doing the rig, you can't go wrong with Maker's Mark, and I always say that their regular Maker's Mark, it's just it's a good whiskey. It's classic. It's good, good for sipping, whatever you know. And then you go a little bit higher, you got the Makers 46, you got the Makers Cast Strength, you got the Makers 101, you got this one, which it just gets better and better the higher that you go. And they, they're, they're unstoppable. They, they're, it's like New Riff is copying them. You kind of got a little cinnamon there. Yeah, definitely. All right, it smells good. I'm ready to try it, so cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, that's really good. Very nutty, brown sugar, smooth, yes. Honey. There was something I picked up. I was picking up like some of that charred oak, mm -hmm. but it was very nutty, like a cluster, like the um, sweet um, pecans. Man, this is good. This is real good. Very smooth. And then like, it doesn't bite on your tongue. No. Back of the throat a little bit. But yeah, it has a small spice on your tongue. Then the, your tongue retains a lot of the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Those sweet notes, caramel. Man, I'm sipping this, and I don't know what it is, but it's like my lips are like getting coated. It's like a coating of like syrupy sweetness when you lick your lips. I guess I got it in my lips. I don't know. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's the burn, like the. Stingy, kind of fiery on the tip of your tongue. Mm hmm. Yeah, the more you sip it, different whiskeys will have so many different effects. Usually, the good ones, the more you sip it, the more you start picking up a little bit of that ethanol, a little bit of that spice around your tongue, your palate, um, the back end. Um, 
And then you got those whiskeys that they start off pretty good, but then it's just ethanol and just bland. And you know, what you want to look for is for that. That although you do pick up all these fruits and all these, the honey, the sugar, the, the syrup and everything, although it gets a little bit spicier, the more and more you drink it, you still have those sweet notes, even though it's still spicier, you, get, you still retain some of the sweet notes and it's, it's just all around good. And maybe at a certain point, if you're sipping it in a glass and you get halfway, you start exper experiencing the, that spiciness, you can add a little bit of ice cube. You can open it up with a little bit of water and continue sipping it. I'm just getting kind of a woody flavor in the back of my mouth. And I feel like this would definitely, I would be able to taste it more if I had a little bit of water in it. So you need water to wash down the wood in the back of your throat? <laughs> Nonetheless, guys. If you guys have had Maker's Mark, their uh, private selection, their cocktail finish, <laughs> all right, the specific one, let us know in the comments below. Let us know what state hand selected your bottle and what you thought about it. And let us know what whiskeys you think we should be reviewing next here on Bottled and Bond. I'm Ozzy. I'm Amanda. And this is the Maker's Mark private selection their cocktail finish from Maker's Mark Distillery in Loretto, Kentucky. Loretto, and this is Bottled and Bond. Cheers. Cheers.